the job that I had, every day, you had to, I mean, every day, every week, you had to deliver because there was another game uh, in, a different, in a different sport with different people. Do you miss your work? Yes, I do. If you ask me, um, are you enjoying your retirement? No. We all shared the same kind of passion for bringing the word of sports to the people. Jim Leahy, the longtime broadcaster of UH Sports, has died at the age of 80. Family and friends are mourning the loss of the voice that ruled the airwaves for six decades. Manolo Morales has a story. Look at this shot. That's, that's unbelievable. Whether it's football, basketball, volleyball, or many other UH sports, Jim Leahy delivered the play-by-play -play on TV and on the radio. His son, Kanoa, says nothing gave his father more joy than to see UH teams succeed. And so for him to have served as the soundtrack, the narrator for so many of those moments, um, it was really special. And I think what, what we've discovered today is uh, how much that has meant to a lot of people out there in the community. The family says Jim died after battling a long illness. He retired in 2018 and spoke to KHON2 about the pressure of being the voice of UH Sports. When you had the job that I had, every day, you had to, I mean, every day, every week, you had to deliver because there was another game uh, in, a different, in a different sport with different people. 2-2 two -two pitch, swung on and missed, strike three, away he wins. Honolulu Mayor Rick Blangiardi worked side by side with him for 13 years covering UH football. And he had that special ability. He could bring you in right from the pregame and then throughout the game. And even sometimes the most simple plays, he could turn into a very exciting element. And those who knew him well say he also had that sharp wit that made him a lot of fun to be with. Even when he would make me crazy at different times, he was always, he was so much fun to be with because he just had that, he had that zest for life. He had this ability to like rip people to shreds right in front of their face and then they'd walk away going like, wow, Jim is such a cool dude. Lee, he leaves behind a wife, three children and a grandchild. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. UH Athletics issued a statement regarding Leahy's passing, saying Jim was there for our biggest moments. His iconic and colorful calls have been stamped into our collective memories. He was eloquent, knowledgeable, and more than anything, was a fierce supporter of this state and its great culture and sports teams. And Governor Josh Green issued a statement saying Jim called some of the biggest, most triumphant games in Hawaii's athletic history. We send our deepest condolences to the Leahy Ohana his longtime fellow broadcasters, and his legions of fans. Sports director Rob DeMello will have more on Leahy's legacy on the KHON2 News at 6.